Consider a chain as a model for a polymer fixed to a substrate at one end and pulled at the other end, for example using optical tweezers. Link 1 is attached to the nail, the next link is link 2, and so forth. In a detailed model, each of the n links could be oriented in a variety of directions in three-dimensional space. But for simplicity, we only allow the links in this model to have states plus 1 and minus 1. This chain is one-dimensional. The ith link can have states s sub i equals plus or minus 1. We will use the convention in which the state plus 1 means that the link is oriented downward, as opposed to being oriented upward, which would be the minus 1 state. The weight is found at different heights depending on the states of the individual links of the chain. Extending the chain downward decreases the potential energy of the system, allowing energy to be placed elsewhere in the world, meaning the bath. Energy can be exchanged between the chain, which is our so-called system, and the bath. Energy transferred to the bath can be placed in different parts of the bath, including the many parts not explicitly illustrated, but instead schematically represented by the ellipses. Transferring energy from the bath to the system elevates the weight. One link has reversed its directional orientation in this example. Four links point downward, but the middle link points upward. Because the chain has multiple links, the condition of having precisely one link point upward corresponds to multiple specific states of the system. The upward pointed link could be this one, or this one, or this one, or finally this one. In one configuration of the world, the chain could be in a low energy state fully extended downward with some energy contained by the bath. In another situation, some energy could be transferred from the bath to the chain, which is now crumpled, placing the weight at an increased height. In this other example, the weight is placed at an intermediate height. The weight can often be found at a given height in more than one example of a world configuration owing to the multitude of ways the chain can be arranged to yield a particular downward length. These illustrations are meant to indicate world configurations with the same total energy. Supposing that the world is isolated, the fundamental postulate of statistical mechanics states that eventually the world explores these configurations as well as other configurations not illustrated. It is important to remember that the fundamental postulate does not state that the world explores every configuration not illustrated. World configurations with less or instead more total energy than associated with the four example configurations at the top cannot be accessed. The fundamental postulate of statistical mechanics states that the world explores all accessible microstates of the world equally. In this slide deck, we will calculate the length of the chain as a function of the force provided by the weight and as a function of the temperature describing the bath. This slide deck is divided into three videos. In the next video, we will specify the Hamiltonian or energy function of the chain and write down its partition function. In the final video, we will use the partition function to calculate the length of the chain averaged over those so-called accessible configurations that the world explores over time.